extremely productive day in my life. And now it's time for a skincare. I'm currently reading. And then I'm going to meal prep guide. Okay, so I'm just having scrambled eggs. Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I'm going to be taking you through an extremely productive day in my life. It is currently at 6.30 and I have a spin class in 30 minutes and then I have like seven hours of lecture and I also have a midterm tomorrow. So we just have to be uber productive and without further ado, let's get into the video. One thing that I love about the spin studio that I've been going to is that they have a shower and they're actually super clean and like a Dyson for your hair and stuff. So I'm gonna pack a towel and some skincare so I don't have to come home for a shower before going to campus. I'm just gonna take this one because it's the smallest to fit in my toe. And I need cleanser and a toner. This is what's gonna go in at my toiletries. I have the Beauty of Jacin Ginseng Essence Water. And then I have this water-based cream that I literally use so much, it's almost empty now. And then I got this new Docto toner that's won a lot of K-Beauty awards. It's super mild and non-irritating. And I think just after sweating so much, it'd be super nice to just wipe my face completely so i'm really excited to try this out anyways yeah i'm gonna have to spin so let's go but by the way if you guys are interested in any of the skincare products that i use in this video i'll have the links in the description box below you can buy them all on amazon prime and they're actually having huge discounts this prime day it's july 11th to 12th so make sure to check out all the links in the description box below i just finished a JLo beyonce at shakira spin class and i took a shower here because they're actually pretty Clean. I'm just gonna head over to the school now. So I'm just gonna head out to study for a few hours. And actually, Janice and Haley are gonna have a little girls' night like dinner at mine. I love hosting dinner. I think I'm having over for dinner literally every other day. I just love cooking. It's so therapeutic. I don't have my hair oil or cream, so my hair's gonna be frizzy. But I needed to shower. I sweat so much every class. They also have a Dyson here that I've never used before. Like I didn't, I've never used a Dyson before. Hi guys, so I'm just sitting at my desk right now. My next midterm is in literally two days. So I'm just putting all the learning objectives into a Word doc and I'm just answering all of them. So I'm just gonna work on that for the next two hours and hopefully I get everything done. And then I'm going to meal prep kind of like salad shrimp bowls for tomorrow. Okay, so I'm just having scrambled eggs for breakfast. I'm gonna put it on smoked salmon and toast. While the toast is toasting, I'm gonna assemble another like meal prep bowl. I'm gonna chop this lettuce really roughly. Literally on the plate because I'm too lazy to get out a cutting board. This is gonna be my base for today in terms of like the burrito bowl. This is what I meal prepped for the other week. for the best part where I literally just put all the toppings on. On top of all of that, I'll put some cream. And then I just need cheese. no idea if this is normal but i had this idea that i would just put salmon on this i figured i would do it and see if it's good and then overcooked scrambled eggs we're gonna be late for school i literally have no idea if this is gonna be good but it's all my favorite things so how could it be bad? Okay, I'm completely decked out in Jerk Avenue right now with the headband and the robe, but I'm just gonna get on with the rest of my morning routine. I already had breakfast and I meal prepped and now it's time for skincare, but I'm going to wash my face. 
But now I'm going in with a new Beauty of Tristana product. You guys know I love their sunscreen. This is the one I took to Vietnam and it's literally almost done. And I have two refills right here. And I just take a bunch on my hand and really press it into my damp skin. The ginseng essence water also is really good for healing your skin barrier, especially if it's been damaged and dried out from the summer. Ginseng root is really good for deep hydration and that's how I get my skin to like bounce back and like look super plump. It's also free of parabens, mineral oils, pegs, and the brand is just cruelty free and vegan, which I love. I'm just gonna put on moisturizer. Moisturizer is super important before sunscreen. And the last step in my morning skincare routine is always going to be sunscreen. This is the Abib Airy Sunstick, and it's a C shape to get like all the curves of your face, which I think is very interesting. And I haven't had that in a sunstick yet, so I really like it. And the number one thing that you guys should love about this sunstick is that it's non greasy and it doesn't leave a white cast whatsoever. It basically glides on clear. And it also helps with oil control and has like a semi matte finish. So I would say it's good for most skin types and I just usually just pat it in and yeah this is my morning skincare routine I'm literally gonna throw this into my bag and reapply throughout the day and we're gonna head out it's literally called professional practice so that's the one good thing about this course it's not just like random things that you need to memorize and that you'll never use in your life so yeah okay so my friends and i have finished four out of like six midterms so we're having a little beach day so i'm just gonna meal prep pasta salad really quick for Haley and i some time before my next class so i'm going to share with you guys what i've been reading and also more skincare products that you can get with huge discounts on amazon at prime day which is july 11th to 12th it's coming up really soon so there's just a few but the number one that i want to talk about is this hamish all clean bomb you guys know i love cleansing bombs i feel like cleansing bombs are like a two-step they remove makeup and they cleanse your skin and this one does it really well my sister actually influenced me to buy this because she goes through them like crazy and i feel like this really just removes like dust and oil and sebum and my waterproof mascara which i am always wearing because i have super straight lashes that's just a tip for you if you guys have like asian lashes that like don't hold a curl well try wearing a waterproof mascara the next thing that i recommend to you guys is this jumiso all day vitamin glow serum it's ascorbic acid which is really good at fading acne scars and hyperpigmentation which you guys know i had a lot of in first semester it also has alpha arbutin and vitamin c which is really good just like evening out your skin tone and you actually have to keep this in the fridge because of all the actives and if you are going to use a product like this that has a lot of actives make sure that you wear sunscreen the next morning next is an olive young bestseller this is the mixoon bean essence and i love that you can 
can get it on Amazon. This is really good for cleansing your pores or your blackheads. And it's a duo effect because it's an essence and like a peeling gel. You would just take a few pumps of this on your hand and really rub it in and massage it. And then you would feel like that like peeling of like the dead skin cells coming off. And then you can get a cotton round and like wipe it off of your face or you can just like rinse it like I do. And this will really help remove any dead skin cells or just like sebum buildup. And then I have this zombie pack, which I'm actually gifting to my roommate because she loves face masks. And it's basically a two-step process where you mix the zombie pack powder and activator in like a little dish and you just apply it to your face. It like really cleans out your pores and like tightens your skin and it gives you really a bouncy and radiant skin afterwards. And it's been said to help with lifting, elasticity, exfoliation, tone, moisture, skin texture, and appearance of pores. So you can also get this on Amazon. I'll have everything linked in the description box below. And lastly, I just got in a bunch of lippies from Amuse. And the funny thing is I actually saw a lot of these in Korea. They're really, really nice. It just like adds like a nice color and it like lasts all day. I think they're really fun. And the one thing to know about these tints is that they are vegan. And there's been like a million of these units sold because everyone just like loves the formula. So I recommend picking these up as well. And yeah, that is everything that I have in terms of skincare for you guys. This is my TBR. I'm reading Love in Other Words by Christina Lauren. The font is like really big. So the book actually won't take me too long to read. I think I'm gonna read this after my midterm season. And then I have Crying in H Mart, which is a favorite of a lot of Asian Americans just because it resonates with them and stuff. And I think it covers like generational trauma and stuff like that. So I'm really interested to read this one too. I have to really prepare myself mentally and emotionally. And this was recommended to me by Alex, L, and Zoe, who I was on a panel with recently with Subtle Asian Book Club. But yeah, I think both are gonna be super interesting. I actually got these on Amazon as well. So I'll have them linked down below if you wanna be reading my TBR with me. I'll be posting updates on my Discord and my Instagram and my Finsta kind of like spam account if you haven't requested that yet. And now it looks like I'm gonna be late for class. So we're gonna head out. Okay, so it's a little bit later now. I had class all day and AC is literally blasting because it's like 31 degrees. So for an after school kind of snack or like a little pre-dinner, I'm gonna make tomato peach bococcini like salad. It's literally only four ingredients and it's so nice and fresh. I actually got the inspo from my sister like a few summers ago when we were in Vancouver together. So yeah, I'm just gonna whip that together right now. Today I'm actually awake relatively early to class. It's 8 o'clock but I have class at 10. So I think I'm going to do a sheet mask while I just like tidy up my room to really hydrate my skin. And I'm going to do a Mary and May Niacinamide Vitamin C mask. And there's 30 inside so it's perfect for one every single day. But I also went home for the weekend. That's why my hair looks different. It's straight now and I cut my bangs like super short. These are the shortest they've ever been. I kind of had like a mini fringe the other day. I'll put a photo up on screen but I thought it was really cute and I'm happy with the change. It comes in a wet tissue packaging for hygiene usage and the price range is nothing compared to the original price of sheet masks and it contains niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and vitamin C for everything that you need in your daily skincare. So I'm gonna let this sit for like 10 minutes, clean my room, pack my bag, and then we're gonna head off to school. Okay, I just took the sheet mask off and my face looks so dewy. I love it. I think it is very brightening, especially on my eye bags because they've just been so dark lately. I've been getting no sleep. And I would like to say that this is Brianna's Sensitive Skin Approved because I have not broken out in any hives. That's one thing about sheet masks that I often get as well. I break out in hives because of certain ingredients, but it looks like I have none for Mary and May, so that's good. I'm gonna use this every day. Here also looks a little bit oily and I'm going to spin today, so I'm just gonna dry shampoo it a little bit. Let me know what you guys actually think of my new hair. I really like it. That was genuinely the longest I haven't had straight hair. And now I have an eight hour lecture day, so let's get to it. Quick outfit of the day. I am now an Aritzia girly. Oh my God, this is a Sunday vest, like seamless tank. And then these are just like mom, like Levi shorts that I got and they're kind of like a light wash color. I've been alternating between my little puffy and my Marc Jacobs tote, but I think this one, it matches my outfit better today. I always have my headphones on no matter where I go or what I'm doing. Maybe this is bad, but I always, always have background noise on. I've been obsessed with Olivia Rodrigo's Vampire. I also got Glasting Lip Balms in from Roman, and I think I'm gonna put on the pink one today because it looks really cute. This is shade nine peonies. Beauty guru moment, but this looks so cute. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh my God, that is so cute. I actually love this. It's giving like my lips, but better. And it looks like it has a plumping effect, which 
I'm not mad about. I don't know if I gave you guys a full look of how my new hair is, but this is what it looks like. It hasn't been this short since my big chop in Korea. But yeah, that midterm that I was studying for actually went pretty well. It was 34 questions and I wrote it in 40 minutes. So that was the sleigh and I just got in and I actually just watched the new JJK season two, episode one with Pranav. If you guys have seen my older vlogs and you know that I'm always watching anime with Pranav, we just screen share and watch it. And we watched the first season together and we're actually in different cities right now. He's back in like our hometown, I guess. And then I'm away here at school. Anyways, I bring this up because I think it's just nice to have that consistency or like that tradition kind of still going. Anyways, I just got a package in from Leah Alexander and I'm gonna show you what I got. It is so cute. I just zoomed you in. I have three piercings on both both sides. I think I'm actually gonna ask Lonnie to get a fourth or like a cartilage with me soon. It just worked out this way that each of my piercings is with like one of my girlfriends. My second one I actually got done with Alicia and then my third one I got with Lonnie in Korea which I think is so fun. I have this like pave like star one from Ana Luisa. On this side my second is a pave cuff that I have matching with Alicia and I just want them both to match. So I'm actually gonna switch them out for these and then I'm gonna replace my third ones which are literally my silver studs from Korea that they use to pierce my ears how many months ago. So these are the studs that I'm going to change out my silver ones for. They're super small, but they're like 10 karat gold. So these are just what the pop cups look like. Okay. Oh, that's so cute. I like that. Okay, this is what the new stack looks like. Now I'm gonna eat a meal prep that I made the other day really quickly. I made like a shrimp bowl. I'm just gonna warm that up and eat it before spin. I literally just got in from spin class and I am so sweaty. My hair is like curling up again, whatever's left of the perm. But I need to wash my face because it's so congested and like gross. I'm actually gonna use a new pore scrub because my nose has been really like congested lately and I haven't been able to like clear it besides like picking at it. So hopefully this will do the trick. I'm gonna do this in the shower, but it's a 30 second exfoliator with 1% will low BHA and apparently it clears up all your blackheads and that's exactly what I'm needing right now and I also just want to let you guys know that all the products that I am mentioning in this video will be having a major discount on Amazon Prime Day which is July 11th and 12th so make sure you get your hands on them while the major discounts are happening okay surprisingly that actually worked pretty well for my nose I'm gonna go in with Olaplex bonding oil for my ends of my hair and that's basically my hair care routine now because I don't need curl cream there's no more perm really going on okay and the last Last thing that I'm gonna add to my skincare routine before I make dinner is go in with some eye cream. I'm gonna be honest, I don't use eye cream like every single day. Apparently this Tokobo is beginner friendly. You can also get this on Amazon during Prime Day and it's super lightweight and doesn't leave like a heavy cast. And it's also super duper hydrating, which is what helps get rid of your eye bags. I'm just gonna do two dots and blend that in. Well, it feels really nice actually. I wanna say it's like a water-based gel. And that is my post-spin skincare all done.